my channel and welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Cheyenne my name on here is a lizard bit it's basically a play off my middle name Elizabeth because I like it a lot more than my first name but I am coming today at you guys with one of my most requested I feel like even though I don't have many subscribers which by the way if you aren't subscribed and you like my sort of vibe on here definitely hit that subscribe button down below if you enjoy my videos and you can come along for the ride but back to what i was saying i think this is so far like my most requested sort of video is an apartment tour now i do currently have an empty apartment tour on this channel and ever since then that was like back in february i filmed that when i first not even when I moved in, like before I moved in. And that video hit it off because I've been getting so many views on it. A lot of people starting to comment on there and it still just keeps getting viewed. Um, one of my most viewed videos on my channel so far. So I thought it was time to finally do a more furnished apartment tour. Since as you could tell, I'm already moved in. It's already about six months later and i have not updated you guys now this is going to be a more real life apartment tour i'm not trying to hide anything but i will be hiding some stuff because i will not be showing you guys inside my cabinets inside any bins inside anything like that because it's just a mess i have not gotten to the point of organizing my apartment yet but more so just decorating it so what I thought is that I'm just going to give you guys, you know, a regular basic apartment tour, everything on the outside, and then maybe six months from now, I'll do an updated tour showing you all the cabinets and everything inside a more detailed one once I actually get that all organized. Including my closet, I did kind of sort it out um, the other day. If you guys are watching my Vlogtober videos, I did kind of film a little montage of me organizing that switching my spring stuff to my well my spring and summer stuff to my fall and winter outfits so i'll be filming that in another video hopefully but i'll probably just show you a quick little sneak peek but that is also not organized that much but also some decor stuff is not going to be permanent i'm just kind of just want to get this out there so you kind of get a gist of how i've been living for the past half a year basically and yeah so it's gonna get real you're gonna see my recycle you're gonna see my garbage some areas are gonna look a mess but i also want to kind of show you guys so maybe you could give me some tips and some help on what i should maybe do in those areas or what i should fix maybe i sh could add something else something that might work for me just to be very real life with you guys so i'm going to show you guys how i've been living for the past six months. So let's start with my kitchen area. So when you first walk in, I just have my fridge right here. I have this magnetic like whiteboard thing that I got off of Amazon and I also have a bunch of my mask hanging here so I can just grab it when I'm on the go um, I just use these like little command hooks to hook them onto on there and it works conveniently for me um, I also have this little photo booth photo of me my sister my boyfriend and her fiance when we went to Six Flags also with this little Harry Potter uh, magnet I forgot what it's called the golden snitch yeah that I got from the Harry Potter store in New York where I live up here is some random stuff and yes that is Christmas decor up there but I just left it there when I moved in because I couldn't fit it anywhere else because in that cabinet is where I actually put a lot of my Christmas decorations <laughs> in there so yes some of my kitchen cabinet space is for decorations and other storage just because I do live in a studio so I need to utilize as much space as I can to use as storage but this is just my fridge it's 
a little narrow but it works for me because i am one person it's the bottom is the freezer the top is the refrigerator area and i'm going to start on this side before i move to the next so up here i just had this like suction hook that i got from ikea and my like baking mitts which i need to wash because they're a little dirty this cabinet i mainly keep like pasta and like my coffee and tea stuff i guess i could show you a little sneak peek of this one because it's not too bad still pretty horrible but I just have some pastas and stuff up there baking stuff some of these like teas and coffees that i use daily and then another bin of like pasta and rice and some mugs and whatnot and then in this little corner which looks very very cluttered but I have my Nespresso machine, which I got for Christmas for my sister, which I really appreciate because I use it all the time, as well as this skinny syrup, which is the caramel flavor. I also had this sort of like amber glass jar or vase, you could call it, that I put my Nespresso pods in. It was very convenient, so I could just use it and it matches my kettle as well. I also have an espresso frother back there, which I don't use that often, but I just keep it there just in case. I have this kettle that I put on my housewarming list that my dad actually got me, which I love so much. It is so nice. It's from a brand called Ascot. I never actually heard of it, but it is on Amazon, so you guys can check that out. And then I have this Power XL air fryer, which has changed my life. I know I'm late on the air fryer game, but I love this so much. Use it all the time. So great. If you don't have an air fryer, definitely get one. In this drawer, I will not be showing you because it's very, very messy. But it's just where I keep my spices and all my seasonings and whatnot. And even like forks and spoons. And then in this bottom one, I just have some plates and some other appliances that I don't want to keep out right now that I'm not using. So like hand mixers and blenders and other random stuff like that. And when you come over to this side, you have my oven, which I love so much. It is a gas oven. I really like gas ovens. I did have some difficulty when I was first using it when I first moved here because I guess the person before me never really used it. So it was starting to make like a weird like factory smell when I would turn it on. But after using it a few more times, that smell went away and it works so well and i cook on it a lot <laughs> a lot more than i ever cooked in my life just because i love this stove so much and it also has this hood range i think that's what it's called still don't know from my first tour <laughs> the name of it but works well that's what kind of made me learn that i need to keep that on when i turn on my oven so that's great i also had this like wooden salad bowl that one of my co-workers bought me for my housewarming um gift and haven't actually made salad in it i kind of just use it for <laughs> decor but hopefully soon i put like some pasta or something in there and it looked very pretty i believe this is also from amazon and on top of the hood range i had this like drooping cloth that i got from amazon which you guys probably seen in my old apartment when i was living with my sister and i just kept it there it doesn't melt don't worry it's not getting like any heat on it it's perfectly fine hair i don't have any batteries in it so that's why it doesn't move but i saw it was a little cute accessory for there in this cabinet i actually keep all my snacks all my unhealthy stuff my ramen random stuff like that cereal breakfast bars different things that it's just a mess so we will not be showing that again as well as this drawer which is a junk drawer like literal junk drawer like these drawers are huge and it's packed to the rim with this junk and under here i keep all my cleaning supplies so everything from garbage bags to sprays oven cleaners ziploc bags all that sort of stuff is in this bottom cabinet which i really need to organize as well and then this little area, I just have this little Lazy Susan, which spins. If you guys watch my Blogtobers, you would have seen me show this little area. Um, I just added this vase over here because I thought it fit a little better, even though it's a little too tall. But it just adds that nice autumnal feel. Um, this is from Target, 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 Bath & Body Works, and Ikea is the candles. And then I got this knife set from Ikea, which sucks quite a lot. Two of them are in my dishwasher if you hear that noise, but it does the job. Um, I also have these two cutting boards from Ikea, 
which also does the job as well. Definitely want to upgrade and get some new ones. I have this little moon lamp thing. I don't know where to put it, so I just put it here, as well as empty pop can that I kept because I might ask my sister, because she has an Etsy shop where she makes candles, if she can make a candle for me out of it because I really like the design of it. So I just kept it back here for now. Then I had this like spinning, well, it's not really spinning right now because the spoons are in the way, but this spinning utensil holder from Target, as well as these plastic like whole this whole thing came in a set of stuff so like the can opener the pizza cutter all these spatulas and whatnot all came from target in a set which i think was really worth it even though i'm not really a fan of like plastic ones but they're easy to clean they're dishwasher safe then i also have this spoon rest which is from hearth hand and magnolia i believe that's how you say it yeah is it hurt yeah hearth and hand of magnolia whatever spoon rest that I use a lot when I'm cooking um so the spoon like all the stuff that I'm cooking with doesn't get on the counter so that is just this little area over here on this side I'm not really loving <laughs> at all but right here is just this like haunted house gingerbread cookie kit thing that I'm going to be making in my vlogtober so I just kept it here because I don't know where else to put it I just had this basket from Ikea where I have some espresso pods I need to recycle some potatoes and some Goya sour sop thing. Just a random bin of nothing. I have my Brita filter, which I usually keep in the fridge, but it just got too bulky in there for now. So I just keep it out. I don't really use it that much. I only use it to like fill up my espresso and whatnot. But I am a bottled water girl, unfortunately. But, you know, I'll still drink this if I have to. Then I have my Keurig, which I don't use that often. I mainly just use it for like when I'm making tea and stuff. I do prefer the Nespresso, but this is one that I had at my old apartment with my sister and she gave it to me because she was getting another machine. So I just took it off her hands. This I need to get rid of, not get rid of, but I don't use it that often because I have the air fryer now. My dad, I believe also bought me this. And I feel really bad because I don't use it, but I might give it away to someone if they want it, or I might just try to keep it, but just put it away for now. Um, but yeah, I don't really use it because the air fryer works just fine for me. Then I got this set of espresso mugs that my sister actually got me for Christmas from the Met store, which is the Metropolitan Museum in the city. And they are so cute. I just have to show you them really quickly. They just have like this artistry design on them and the handles are different colors. I've used them a few times and I absolutely love them. They're just very adorable. And in this cabinet, I have a bunch of Bath & Body Works candles that I need to get through as well as some containers and stuff for my lunch. So like some Tupperware and whatnot and some random like forks and spoons that I don't really use as well as my dishwasher detergent pods that I use which speaking of my dishwasher it is right here and on right now doing its job in this drawer is also messy it's kind of like a junk drawer but I kind of keep like my sponges and some Nespresso boxes in there as well as some Glade plugins and this one is another cabinet that I use for Christmas and Halloween decor um, not many Halloween decor. I didn't even look in there to see if I have any to put out, but it's mainly just Christmas stuff because I bought a lot of Christmas stuff last year, so I needed more space to put it in. When you go over to this side, this is just some extra Nespresso pods that I have in this vase from Ikea. Ikea is a great place to get like little storage stuff like this because it's really inexpensive, so I definitely recommend it. And then right here, I have this like, I don't know, I don't think it's called a farm stuff, a farmhouse style sink. I think that's usually the ones that's like white and porcelain, but it's this very deep sink, which I love. Now I don't really use it that much just because I have a dishwasher, but it's so deep that I can just pile up the dishes in there until I'm ready to load it into the dishwasher. So it works really well. I have rubber gloves because you would never catch me holding a sponge with my bare hand. Speaking of, I have some sponges there, some dry erase, um, not dry erase, some magic erase sponges in that little sponge dish. I also have some Dawn Platinum Grease Cleaning 4x Power 
dish soap and that method hand soap and then right here i just have my paper towel roll i don't remember where i got this from i don't know if it was from target as well and some extra virgin olive oil which is like one of the only oils that i do use when i cook right here i have my microwave which i also use quite often unfortunately but you know living on my own working sometimes long hours at work i just want to come home and make a quick easy meal so yes i'm very embarrassed about that but you know sometimes you need a microwave for other stuff and up here we won't get it too in depth but i just have this skull that my sister's fiance um gave to me and i think i switched with them with a silver one that i had um and then i just have two bottles of a little something up here in this cabinet i have a bunch of tools <laughs> and laundry detergent where my laundry machine is right here or my washing machine dryer two in one i like it a lot at first i was not getting the hang of it because it was like taking almost four hours to do a whole load but i figured out my whole routine and how to actually use it and now it takes about an hour and a half which is way better and on the cabinet above the sink is where i usually keep my pots and pans in there and then the one on the bottom is where i keep all like my grocery reusable bags i also have a ninja blender in there that i don't really use that often and also my paper towel and toilet paper i keep in there and then i just had this little mat which is actually a runner that i got from five below so it was only five bucks and i just love the print of it i love blue and pink together i don't know why but yeah we are going to move into this messy corner which i am so embarrassed about so starting on this wall i just had this beautiful macrame sort of yarn hanging that i got from i believe it was marshall's for only 20 bucks and i feel like that was so worth it it's kind of big if you can see like the size of my hand and i love the colors definitely matches the mat that i just showed you in the kitchen to kind of tie into the rest of my decor for my apartment and then right in this corner i just keep my swiffer and a mop there i wish i had like the little tabs that you could put here i might buy some that you can just hang them on even though i don't know if it'll look too cluttered but i just don't like them leaning like this and here is the embarrassing part which i need help on is my garbage situation so i have this garbage pail i don't know why i didn't take the sticker off but whatever the stainless steel garbage pail which came from target recycle day is not till tuesday so yes i drink a lot of water snapple and gatorade and it's piling up which is why i need to figure out this whole thing sorry that was my phone but i kind of took out the insert of the garbage pail and kind of used that for the cans and whatnot because here in new york you have to recycle so that is pretty unfortunate that i have to pile it up like this but yeah i need to figure this out i thought i'd make it a little cute by using this like laundry basket basket that i got from h m to kind of use for the recycle of the cardboard but I don't know just looking like a cluttered mess which i hate this corner and i need to figure out something else to do with it um back there i just have my broom and dustpan i kind of want to vacuum i don't know if that's weird to have for wood floors but i don't know where i would actually put the vacuum i could probably just leave it there but it might be also too bulky in this area and right here i just have a air mattress that i need to get back to my sister because i don't have the space as you can tell for it to stay right here but you know it's whatever in the meantime but i need some tlc in this area because it just drives me crazy so on this side i actually have my closet so on the outside i just have two bags this one i use every day for work and the other one is just like a fall color that i like a lot and above that is my central air unit, which is heat and air conditioning. So I love that a lot. I don't really use this one that often. I usually use the one that's in my living room area, but I love how big this closet is. Now I could probably show you a sneak peek. It's very stuffed and packed and I need to organize it, but I could show you a little snippet if you didn't watch my vlog the other day, but let's see. So it's just, piled up quite a lot a bunch of stuff bunch of shoes 
We're just gonna close that back up because yeah, we don't wanna see that. So on this side, I actually have a little memorial sort of thing going on. Well, first I just have my step stool because living alone and being short, you need a step stool because to get into those cabinets is kind of difficult. But I just had this table, oh, and my camera case, but I just had this table which I built completely wrong. I built it with my boyfriend, but I know he's not going to take any, you know, credit for building it that way. That was all my fault. That was supposed to be on the back. This area was messed up, but it's whatever. I can always stain it if I want to. But I got this from Target. It used to be my nightstand, but then I moved it over here because, I don't know, it just worked out better. It doesn't really match the decor in my apartment, but it'll work out for now until I figure out something else. But in those drawers, I just keep like random stuff. Like in this one, I just have a bunch of like notebooks and some markers and stuff when I was doing planning as well, some washi tape. But everything else is just a mess. And then right here, I had this photo of my beloved cat that passed away. His name was Patrick. You guys probably seen him in some of my older videos. Um, he passed away very unexpectedly. It was very sad, but still very sad over it. But I kind of got this photo just to remember him so I could see him every day because I loved him so, so much and I still do. And I also ended up cremating him, which is this little area that I have right here that I just set up. I don't know, that's kind of weird for people to walk into my apartment and see that. But, you know, I like it there. I think it's kind of discreet. You won't really notice it until you go up. But, you know, just something to pay respect and to always remember him. So he's here in this new place with me. So on this side, I have this painting that I got from, I believe, at home. It kind of resembles Rihanna a bit, I don't know, or her. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I like it a lot. I love the blue. So nice. And then underneath that, I have this little storage unit. Now, I used to have it on the other side where I have, like, the other small table that I just showed you guys. But under here is a mask we will not be showing. And that one I just have random mask and like, you know, COVID stuff that you need. So mask, hand sanitizer, KN95 mask. And then I just have a little um, trivia game in there. And this one I have random like winter hats. And then I think like some portable chargers in there that I use. And then this one, as you can see, is a little mess. I have some packing bags, um, like the suction ones that you could like roll when you're going away on vacation I have a little Snoopy slipper there as some camera stuff in there and as well as I believe some hats in there as well so this whole unit I got from Target no actually I got it from Walmart and you can either stand it vertical or horizontal like how I have it I prefer like this to fill up this area I kind of wanted a desk instead I might do that later on but for the meantime this is what works I also showed you this area in my Vlogtober, kind of with my little fall decor, but I got this runner from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Right here is this lamp from Target. I was gonna throw it out, but I didn't know where to put it, so I just kept it here for now. I don't use it. Then I had this little candle holder from Diptyque that my cousin actually gave to me, and it just has this beautiful candle, which is kind of like a Christmas theme candle. I don't know what the scent is, but I love it a lot, so I just keep it there. I have this pumpkin from TJ Maxx. I had this bowl from Belize that my uncle actually gave me when we were visiting there a couple years ago, um, if you guys watched my Belize vlog. But I just have sort of like a junk tray, so some hair clips, some Apple wrist watch bands, things, some sunglasses, hand sanitizer, some jewelry and rings that I wear every day, and my keys and AirPods right here. Then I had this little stack of books, which is kind of like a blue theme to tie into the picture. So on top, I had this little like jar thing from, I believe, Flying Tiger. And I just have some seashells that I got when I was in Belize. And then I have a bunch of Stephen King books. I have Carrie, Shining, and Misery, which I still have yet to read these two, even though I've seen the movies. Then I had this astrology one, this 
Adolescence from Gabby Hanna, which I kind of want to get rid of because, you know, mm, we'll, we'll change the subjects. And then I just had this other book, which is like a sticker book, which is really cool inside, but I just love the whole blue theme. It's really cute. And then I just had this like basket thing, which I think was like for a lantern, like a hanging basket that my sister gave to me. And I just put this fake plant in there that I got from Ikea. And right here, I actually have this mirror that I got from, I believe, Target. Target or Walmart, one of the two. I kind of wish it was gold, but you know, the silver works fine. I can always paint it if I really wanted to, but I use it all the time. You guys might've known from my vlogs. And then down here, I just have my everyday slippers. So I have my outside shoes, which are my Crocs. These that I got from Amazon and these that I got from Shein, which is kind of like my fall um, sort of autumnal style shoes. And then I just had this gold vase or like, I don't know what it's called, very tall vase that I got from, I believe, TJ Maxx with this, what is this called? What is this called? I'll put it on the screen because I'm having like a brain fart right now. But you know, the little wispy things everyone likes. Um, behind that, I have my yoga mat, which I use sometimes, mainly for stretching, but that is basically what I use it for and just kind of tucking it back away <laughs> behind this chair. So I'm quickly going to jump into my bathroom, which is right here. And I love my bathroom. Don't mind my camera, I'm just filming the little view of it. But this is just my sink area that I have. So in here I keep my underwear and socks and then on this side all my hair products and like extra bath and body sort of items. So like scrubs and you know like bubble bath stuff even though I don't have a bath, I have a shower. And then I had this green mat, which I got from Target. I'm kind of trying to go for like a black, white, and green theme, as you can tell. And I love this sink. I love how wide it is and how you have like these thick sides to be able to put stuff on. So I just had this candle. It's a New Orleans candle that I got from Homesick for Christmas from one of my sisters. I have like this jade little plate that I keep sort of like a catch-all for like hair stuff, tweezers, um, some extra jewelry. I had this little like drawer thing that I got from TJ Maxx as well. I keep some razors and stuff in here. And then in this one, I believe I just have some miscellaneous stuff as you can tell. In this little jar, I actually keep some lip products. So a bunch of like these lip glosses and like matte lipsticks as well as some hand sanitizer. Have my makeup remover and my favorite perfume from Glossier, which is the Glossier U perfume, I believe. Use it all the time. This is probably my third bottle. And then right here, I have the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Hand Soap. I actually refill this with a different antibacterial soap to wash my hands when I get home. I also keep my makeup brushes on here, which definitely need to be cleaned um, in this little jar, which is actually like a candle holder. And then I just have my toothbrushes. Well, this is not mine, it's my boyfriend's, but a water pick, he uses a different toothpaste than I do. So that is that. And this is my toothbrush, which is the Oral-B electric one. And then this is my beautiful mirror, my little medicine cabinet where quick peek boom messy we will not be looking further into that i just have a glade plug-in right here and usually i have a hand towel but that is currently dirty which i have to wash but it just goes right on this bar and then this little like wicker basket i actually have all my makeup so it fits perfectly in here doesn't close all the way but still works well and i love the way it looks and it fits perfectly in that area then in this little area, I have <laughs> this wonderful painting from a great movie. If you guys know the movie, it is coming to America. If you guys know the scene, you know the scene. I can't really zoom in because I don't want to get my videos taken down because there is some stuff that you don't need to see right now. But I just thought it was funny because it's like in his bathroom and whatnot. And then I just have my toilet paper roll right here this is my toilet i love it a lot 
I have some poopery so you can spray before you go. I have this little vase that I got from Ikea as well as these fake stems and flowers that I got from Target. Have my shower scrubber which is right there which is great when it comes to cleaning the shower which is one of my favorites is my shower. I love this so much. Definitely gives like a beautiful hotel vibe. I would turn on my other light because it but it does have a fan so I know it's gonna be too loud but hopefully you guys can see this fine. So I just have this little like over the door hook that I use for my towels which are also green. I also have this green towel on top of or this green mat on top of another mat right now but it works well because it's very thick. I'm just gonna show you behind the door really quickly. I just have my laundry basket with some towels that I just folded and left on top of there. Some slippers I can use when I get out the shower. It's not really like walking barefoot after I got the shower. I don't know. I'm weird. I just have two robes. This one is from Target and then there's another one that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. And then on this little wall right here, I have a green hand towel and a squeegee that I can squeegee my mirror when I get out the shower, when it gets too steamy. And then I have these beautiful like pictures that I don't know if you could tell because of the lighting, but this they're both from Decenio, the artwork. And I put them on with these command strips. I just thought they look really beautiful, just like how they're layered like that. So that one's just like an astronaut, I think it's supposed to be on Mars. And then a black panther, which is my favorite animal, if you guys did not know. So going back to my shower, I just have this little bin from Ikea. I have a bunch of all my body stuff and conditioners and shampoos, as well as my razor from Billy, which I love a lot. And then down here, I just have this little wooden stool. It's already getting stained and whatnot but I have it with my purple conditioner since I did bleach my hair, as well as a body scrub and my speaker, which is waterproof, is the Yui Boom. I got this bench from Amazon, which is another gift that my best friend gifted me for my housewarming, which I love so much. It also helps when you need to shave your legs. You can put your leg on something and shave it. And this is just my shower, so it's a very industrial type of shower. Unfortunately, I don't like the shower head. The water pressure is not good and I want to figure out how to get a different one to use. But just the way that this whole thing is set up, I'm kind of afraid to unscrew it and do that. So maybe I could get someone to help me with that. But I have another one of those Ikea like um, suction hooks that I just have my loofah on. And I just love this bathroom so much. I love the subway tiles and everything is just so nice. So now let's move on to my living room. So on this side, I just have this little, I think it's called a C-shaped table. So underneath, I just have some records that I just have leaning there, which I love a lot, but I don't really use my record player, so they're just staying there for now for decor. I got the table, I believe, from Target, either Target or Amazon, which works out well. On top, I just have these little notepads from, I believe, Marshalls, which I love a lot. I just love the design, as well as my iPad and my phone. And then I just have this pink base from Target. No, I got this from At Home and these dried up baby's breath that I actually bought myself a couple months ago, but they're still looking well and dried out. And then I recently got this, which is part of the Halloween like eek and whatever from Target. And it's just this gold cap, but I think I'm just gonna leave it up all year round because I like it a lot. I love the gold detailing. And right next to it is my couch. Now this is a thick, boy and i was very nervous when i first got it because i thought it was going to be way too huge for this space but i feel like it works just fine and it's so cozy i got this from wayfair and i've always had a bad experience with couches or like other chairs or like futons just being so stiff but over time this got so comfy and i love it so much i've taken plenty of naps in it and it's just beautiful i love the color haven't stained it yet still looking brand new love it so much i don't have the legs on them i like how it just loads to the floor like that works out pretty well 
I just have these two pillows, which I need to get rid of because they're starting to fall apart, that I got from Walmart, which I love a lot. And then behind it, I just have, which is bent, <laughs> it's this kind of divider to divide the bedroom and the living room from each other. And I just have these sheer curtains that I got from Target. And I kind of just put like a tension rod across with these hooks that I got from Amazon that I kind of just hold it together. But this is kind of broken and I need to buy a new tension rod to put in there so it doesn't collapse on me one day because it definitely fell <laughs> a few times. And then on my chair, I have another like sort of throw looking thing, which I got from Five Below, surprisingly, once again. They have a lot of nice cute home stuff for obviously $5 and under. So definitely check them out for anything that you might need for your home. And then on that wall, I just have a beautiful macrame hanging again that I got from Marshalls for $20, which I love a lot and kind of tie in the blue from the picture on the other side. So the whole apartment is just cohesive and works together. And then in this middle area, I just have this beautiful, beautiful rug, which I'm so nervous to have because I already spilled some stuff on it, which kind of stained it. But I just got this, I believe from rugsusa.com. And it has all these beautiful colors in it that really tie in the entire apartment. So cozy and beautiful, has these beautiful tassels on it. And I have this ottoman, which doesn't match too well. I wish it was more of the cream color, but unfortunately I got it in the gray taupe color. And it's just a storage ottoman, which I have some bags that I don't use that often in there. And I just kind of use it as my sort of coffee table. So on top, I just had this little wicker tray from Target. I had these coasters from Target. And I had this candle from Target, which is huge. I love it so much. I also have my remotes for my TV and my Apple TV. And then over here on this side, which once again, if you watch my vlogs, you've seen this whole little fall decor setup. Above there, I have another one of my central air units. On this side, I have this beautiful plant, which is a snake plant that my sister actually gave to me because she didn't want it anymore. And some of these are brand new from when I brought it here. So this is grew that piece grew quite a lot it's just so nice i love the color of it is different from like the normal ones don't actually know the name of it but if you do know please leave it down below <laughs> and then i got this little like tv stand unit from walmart which i was going to give away but then i'm like you know what maybe i can make it work which i did it does have this fireplace um sort of unit that i kind of am excited to use to see if it'll save me some money on my heating when it gets very chilly outside so I want to see how that'll go then under here I just had this like basket that I got from Target which a bunch of junk of stuff that I just keep there as well as my mini DVD collection which I don't know if you guys seen any of these movies but you know it's just what I have at the moment so on top i've showed you already all of these in my vlogtober video i have some pops from some of my favorite movies that my boyfriend actually bought for me i had this little west elm vase with this faux flower from michael's my apple tv a speaker and a yes a dvd player because i hope to watch these dvds that i have a photo of my dog a little pumpkin candle that i got from target i actually have a plant stand under here as well as my wi-fi stuff and this basket, please do not mind. This is all my Gelex nail stuff that I need to get organized. So it's sitting here for right now. Do not mind. I also had this um, Yeti speaker that my boyfriend bought for me for my birthday, which I have yet to use. I'm going to be using it for my hair tutorials that are going to be coming up soon for my curly hair. So stay tuned for that. I had these candle holders. Please do not mind that water. That is my dishwasher. But I had these candles from Amazon, which are actually brown, and I thought they were black when I bought them, but whatever. The candlesticks are from Target, which I had for a while. And then up here, I have a lac shelf from Ikea with all my full decor, which I love. At home photo, at home photo, pumpkins from TJ Maxx, vase from Urban Outfitters, lamp that was my sister's and I stole, pumpkins from Target, little pom-pom garland from target as well as some fairy lights on it and this wonderful candle from my sister's etsy shop called raquel's room definitely check it out because these candles are so dope and 
I'm definitely gonna be buying more. So I love this little area. This setup is so nice to me and cozy, especially for the fall season. Might end up just leaving this stuff up all year round. Of course, we'll switch it out for Christmas, but after that, I'm gonna keep it up. So love that a lot. And then last but not least in this area is this beautiful, comfy chair that I got from Target, which I love so much. It is so comfortable. It's kind of big, but it works well in this area. Just makes it so much more cozy and brings the whole vibe together. It's like this shirling material. Of course, it gets some marks on it, but it's fine. I love it. The wood matches perfectly. Couldn't be happier without it. So I don't want to show you too much outside my window, but basically I just have this piggy bank from, I believe it is Target, as well as this vase that I got from West Elm, which is like an iridescent color. And these like faux plant stem things that I got from Michaels. And then on this side, I just have a monstera plant, which is sort of not working out because it's starting to get cold out. And the sun isn't setting like how it used to, but I just got this plantern from at home, which is kind of too big for this cactus, which is also dying. So that is how my plant life is going. And these curtains I actually got from Target. They are just like some sheer curtains. I kind of want longer ones that can go to the floor and kind of drape down. But I also have a sort of like pull down curtain system. If you've seen my original apartment tour, the empty one, they just kind of pulled down and go back up that the last um, person that was living in this apartment just kept here and I paid them like half the price for it and it works out so well. So definitely got the share curtains because I love the extra sunlight in here and you know, it just works so well together to just brighten up this entire area. So now moving on to my bedroom. So before we start, I have this little random table thing that I had for so long that I got from Flying Tire with my laptop on it. Do not mind that, it's not usually here, but this is like my little narrow walkway, don't mind my slippers, to walk to my bedroom area. So basically like behind the curtain, this is what you see. This is not finished. It's what I have going on right now, but it's whatever. So my bed, the frame is actually from Walmart, Amazon is just like this wooden frame. The duvet is from Ikea. This little like fuzzy thing is from Target. I believe the Threshold brand. These pillows are from Ikea. They don't really match the green. <laughs> I don't know, but I just kept them there. I need to figure this whole thing out. It's not working. This wall is bland. I would love to get a projector to put there and watch some movies while in bed. That would be nice. So I'm leaving that wall blank for now. But up here I had this huge fan hanging from Urban Outfitters which looks perfect on this wall. I love it so much, so beautiful. And then this area is kind of, you know, some things are going on. So I had this like subway painting that was my sister's from years ago that I think she got from Ikea and was passed down to me and I just kept it ever since. And then I have this beautiful picture, this Hermes or I don't know how you pronounce it because you know I'm not fancy like that. <laughs> Painting or a picture from Target <laughs> randomly as well as this like bendy lamp from I believe Ikea. I also have this like u-shaped candlestick stand from Urban Outfitters as well as the Urban Outfitters like logo candles. I also have like a sunlight lamp that helps if you have you know seasonal depression which i will be using <laughs> best believe and then i have one of my favorite candles which is the sweater weather candle from bath and body works and just this coaster on top that i use at night and i also have this charging station that my dad bought for me for christmas and all these wires that i need to fix before i start a fire over here i just have my ac remote and this random table, which used to be my coffee table. So I just put it here. I hate it, but it works at the same time. I like it because I could just store stuff underneath. And then, you know, I just had this wide space on top. I had this like L'Occitane um, or L'Occitane 
box that I just keep some of my medicine and like sleeping stuff in here as well as another box which actually has like some workout bands in there. I have a blood pressure like a little machine that I need to use the other day. And then this random box of random stuff like camera bags and whatnot that I just keep in there and some random papers that we don't need to be looking at right now. And then on this side, I just had this clothing rack, which I need to organize, but it's kind of up all the stuff that I need to start wearing, as well as my Coach Pill Tabby Bags, which I love so much. This is the mini one in the lime green, and then I have the bigger one in the beige, which is so beautiful. I also have two bins from Target, which are also great for just putting like pajamas and random hoodies and stuff in there. And then I have another windowsill. So I'm gonna show you what's in this windowsill. So I kind of just tucked away <laughs> my curtain for now. But I had these like faux flowers from Michaels, which I love a lot. And then I had this beautiful like vase looking thing that so many people and their mother have on YouTube, which I got from H&M Home. Then I had this little like paper lamp lantern thing that I got from I believe Flying Tiger as well this that I actually got from 99 cent store is just like this little wax melt thing when it's an elephant which is so cute and then this Salvador Dali book which I had in my other apartment which I just use right here don't love this spot but it works just fine then on this side which I am pretty embarrassed about this plant I don't know if it's getting enough sunlight or what but it is about to be fall, winter time, so it's not gonna last. But it's just this pothos plant that I got from Home Depot, which was doing well before, and now it's just failing. I have these two shoe boxes, which I kind of use as like some little height decor to this area, which I don't know, I guess it kind of works, not too sure, but it's pretty cool in my sense. And then this little plant which i actually got from michael's and it's fake and the plantern which is also from michael's and i don't know it just works well i need to figure out this area also decor wise so guys that is my entire apartment tour as you guys can see i have a lot to work on in this apartment not a lot but for the most part i'm finished it's just some little things that i need help with because it's just not working out for me, but it's what's working right now to be convenient. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, I will be filming an updated one to come a couple months from now, once I fully and permanently get everything together. But for now, I hope you guys did enjoy it and hopefully you guys liked it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.